Hey YouTube, welcome back. With the release of the 0.9 multiplayer patch, Last Epoch has seen a tremendous amount of growth. New action RPG players dipping in their toes to a noob-friendly game for the first time, ARPG veterans checking out Last Epoch, longtime supporters checking back in on the game's progress after all these years. And for all those new players, it's about time to get you up to speed on some of the inside jokes. So with Easter here, now is the perfect time to give a rundown of my top 10 Easter eggs in Last Epoch. The developers over at 11th Hour Games, they love to have a bit of fun, and there are many, many references that'll put a smile on your face. Whether you've been playing Last Epoch for just a few hours or a couple hundred hours, let me know what you've found. Maybe your list is different than mine. But for now, I'll tell you about my favorites. Let's get started. Coming in at number 10, we have the Jahith Bears in Last Epoch. So for you ARPG veterans, you'll understand this one immediately. Jahith refers to the runes Ja, Ith, and Burr which were used to create the Enigma rune word in Diablo 2, way back when. That rune word was very popular, it granted the teleport skill to the player, which kind of tracks, now these bears are teleporting on top of you. Coming in at number 9 is something for the math nerds out there. You've heard of the Fibonacci sequence, starting with 1, 1, you add those numbers together to get the next number in the sequence. It goes something like 1, 1, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, things like that. So we have two nods to that. In Last Epoch, the first one is called Orkirian Petals, and the second one is called Ashes of Orkirian. Both of these have the same sequence lodged into them, starting out with 3 Attunement, 5 to All Resistance, 8 Mana Regeneration, and so on from there. Nice little easter egg for us. Coming in at number 8, well, you're going to have to look at the floor in between farming your Echoes of the Monolith. See the big circle with the two lines coming out of it? Well, it almost looks like a clock, telling you it's 11 o'clock. This may or may not be a reference to 11th hour games. Number 7 on our list is a drop only item. It's not a unique, it's not a set item, it's not even an exalted modifier. It's a base type that you can craft on and it only exists in one small corner of the game before you get to the very first town. Taking the path to the bottom right, you'll see that the captain's ring is sitting there waiting for you. It has a stun avoidance implicit and while that text might not be valuable to you late game, it certainly keeps you from getting stunned for quite a while during the campaign if you want to go out of your way to pick this one up. Next up, for number 6 on our list, we have some minions. Now you have two options for this. One, you could spam and summon, unsummon, summon, unsummon, and then summon your minions until they show up with a funny name. Legend has it that there's an alternative. If you'd like to see a complete list of all the funny, unique easter egg names that your minions can spawn with, there might be something in the description waiting for you. If that's not for you, let me introduce Oswald. And for the halfway point, coming in at number 5, we have alt text in the skill trees. There's a couple instances of this across the game, but my favorite is definitely here. Playing a necromancer, using sacrifice, there's a node called the Great Sacrifice. It deals more damage if the minion has more current health than you, and if you want to learn more about the skill, well, <laughs> you monster. For number 4 on our countdown of the top 10 easter eggs in Last Epoch, we've got nodes on the skill trees themselves. There's two that I'm going to call out here, but there's way more that you can find if you're willing to look for them. The first one is Goodberries, this is a reference to the Goodberry from D&D. And the other one that I'll call out is Rattlesnake Rattlesnake. This is a node for Aspect of the Viper in the Beastmaster tree. And this is a reference to... King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? I've heard of this song before. Yes. Yes. Good. Number three and I count down of Easter eggs in the last epoch are a couple unique items. So let's talk about these. They're all references to other video games, other things, and other content creators as well. First up is Exsanguinous. This is actually Ziggy D's unique item that he added into last epoch. It's an obvious nod, causing us to go low life, introducing the concept of low life into the game. A nod over to Sharon's rapping, back from the world of Path of Exile. Next up is a pair of gloves called Hand of Judgment. This is a new unique added in patch 0.9. We scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that there's a little bit of flavor text here. The Light of Divinity. Another reference over to the world of Path of Exile with Dominus. The Light of Divinity. 
Number three is not a support unique, but it might as well be. This is a developer created unique item called Undisputed. This is a clear reference to the world of Path of Exile once again. It's a nod to Zizarin, a Path of Exile content creator, and his memorable crafting moment, making one of the strongest items at the time, at the time. And the last unique item, being a brand new chase item that I will probably never ever find, is the Red Ring of Atleria. This is actually a reference back to Fantasy Star Online. The Red Ring in Fantasy Star Online notably gives some health regeneration, some mana regeneration, equipable by all classes, gives all attributes as well, and is notably very, very difficult to find. Coming in at number two on our list of Easter eggs in Last Epoch is beer and health potions. Every once in a while, one of your health potions will be replaced by beer. It is functionally exactly the same. It just happens to put a smile on your face whenever you see it. It is pretty rare to get one of these, but it happens every once in a while. The next degree of rareness, which is to say the relative rarity of a potion to a beer, every once in a while, for me, about once every 4,000 hours, you might see a beer replaced by Grohl milk. And what's a Grohl, you may ask? Uh, you've already helped them in chapter one. And coming in at number one on the list is the Tale of Rat City. If you've been on any social media, or if you've been on my stream, hear me talk about Rat City, or maybe even the Rat City Sphere, it's a shorthand for something that pops up in the very, very beginning of the game. You see, the very first refuge you find is also looking for remnants of a long lost refuge that used to exist a long time ago in the past. Now, while you're adventuring, you find some chests, you find some books, you find some information about what the lost refuge used to be and what they wanted to be called. However, when you're reporting this information, you could do one of two things, either tell the truth or you could bend the truth and say that they wanted to be called Rat City. When you do, the seer recognizes that they wanted to be called Rat City and says long live Rat City and indeed long live Rat City. But what is Rat City? Well, back in the real world, not in Last Epoch, Rat City is actually a reference to a motel that the developer stayed at during a convention many, many years ago. Apparently it wasn't the best motel. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 Easter eggs in all of Eterra for all of Last Epoch. And what would a video about Easter eggs be without an Easter egg of its own? So we have our top 10, but I'm actually including one more that I only found out today. While I was making this video, it turns out there's an Easter egg that I didn't even know about. You can spend approximately 200 million gold if you have 200 million gold to buy your stash tabs. And there's a maximum of 200 stash tabs. Once you purchase that many, you do get a little pop-up saying that maybe you don't need 201 stash tabs. This video was a lot of fun to put together, trying to find a whole bunch of Easter eggs, reaching out to other people in the community and reaching out to the developers themselves to see what kind of Easter eggs they wanted to share for the video. There's a ton of stuff in Last Epoch. If you've got a favorite that I didn't include here, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.